I woke up one sunny morning, feeling both excited and nervous. Today was the day I would wear the cute frilly pink dress my Aunt Martha had gifted me for my birthday. It was a daring choice, but I had always been drawn to unconventional styles, and this dress was a symbol of my desire to express myself. As I slipped into the delicate pink dress, I couldn't help but admire the intricate lace and frills that adorned it. It made me feel both elegant and playful, a combination I had always secretly craved. The soft fabric against my skin sent a shiver of exhilaration down my spine. I made my way downstairs, where my mother, Gina, was already waiting. She gave me a warm, reassuring smile and told me how lovely I looked in the dress. Her acceptance and support meant the world to me. Gina had always encouraged me to be true to myself, and I felt truly blessed to have her as my mother. Aunt Martha, the one who had gifted me the dress, was sipping tea at the kitchen table. She grinned when she saw me and complimented my choice, stating that she had picked it because it reminded her of her own daring fashion choices when she was younger. As we chatted over breakfast, I felt a wave of confidence wash over me. Their love and support gave me the strength to be comfortable in my own skin, even if it meant wearing a frilly pink dress. It was a liberating feeling, and I knew that I was fortunate to have such accepting family members. As the day went on, Aunt Martha and my mother, Gina, playfully embraced their roles in treating me like a baby girl. It was all in good fun, and I found their lightheartedness endearing. Aunt Martha, who had a mischievous twinkle in her eye, called me, her little princess, and offered to read me a bedtime story just like she used to when I was a child. I couldn't resist her offer, and we snuggled on the couch, as she read a whimsical fairy tale that made me feel like I was transported to a magical world. Gina, with her nurturing spirit, prepared a special meal for me, complete with all my favorite childhood dishes. She even spoon-fed me some of it, which made me giggle like a child. It was a heartwarming experience, feeling her love and care wrapped around me like a warm, protective embrace. Throughout the day, they both showered me with affection and attention, calling me their, little sweetheart, and, baby girl. It was a wonderful escape from the responsibilities and stresses of adult life. I relished in the experience, feeling cherished and cared for in a way that reminded me of my childhood. As evening approached, they helped me change into my pajamas, and Aunt Martha tucked me into bed with a gentle goodnight kiss on the forehead. Gina dimmed the lights and sat by my bedside, telling me a soothing bedtime story. In that moment, I felt truly safe and loved, as if I had been transported back to a time when life was simpler. A soft nightlight bathed the room in a gentle, warm glow as my mother, Gina, came back into my room after I had settled in bed. She was holding a baby bottle filled with warm milk, just like she used to when I was a child. Her loving smile made my heart swell with affection as she lovingly cradled me. Time for some milk, sweetie, she cooed, gently placing the bottle's nipple to my lips. I giggled and let her feed me, feeling like a contented baby girl once again. The taste of the warm milk was comforting, and I closed my eyes, savoring the sensation of being nurtured. After I finished the bottle, Gina began to softly sing a lullaby, a melody that had been my favorite since childhood. Her voice was soothing and melodic, and as she sang, I felt myself drifting into a peaceful slumber. It was as though time had rewound, and I was once again her little baby girl, wrapped in love and security. Once the song ended, Gina leaned down to kiss my forehead and whispered, Good night, my sweet baby girl. Sleep tight. I smiled, feeling completely cared for, and soon, I was fast asleep, cradling a pink plush doll in my arms that Aunt Martha had given me earlier. The doll was dressed in a miniature frilly pink dress, just like the one I was wearing. It felt like a symbolic gesture, a reminder that it was okay to embrace my girly side and be true to who I was. With the doll snuggled close, I slept soundly in my girly baby dress, wrapped in the love and acceptance of my mother and aunt, knowing that I was cherished for being myself.